Welcome back to another MLB video and it is the morning and there is a big trade going on as the Toronto Blue Jays have just traded all-star outfielder Teoscar Hernandez to the Seattle Mariners. When you see this video, I'll know the full return. I'm going to talk about it later in this video. But to start off the video, I'm going to be talking about the Mariners side of things as we know what they're getting. They're getting Teoscar Hernandez. He was an all-star in the outfield. He's basically just known for his power. When he is hot, he could be a game changer. And the Mariners while they have a good offense with a lot of the guys in it, I feel like if they had a weakness or an area to improve the most, it would be that offense because the pitching is so loaded. The starting rotation is loaded. The bullpen is very loaded. Now the offense, if you can add any guys you can get, that's just going to make you even more of a loaded team as they had such a good year this year. They got swept by the Astros in the ALDS, but really it looks like they played better than a team like the Yankees that got swept by the Astros. So I think there's a solid chance that they could be the second best team in the American League going into next year behind the Houston Astros depending on what happens with the Yankees this offseason. Julio Rodriguez just got named Rookie of the Year. It looks like he's going to be a top 10 player in baseball for a long time and the MVP candidate at that too, not just Rookie of the Year candidate. And now you're going to add some more guys in the lineup like a Teoscar Hernandez. I think this is a great move. The Mariners, Jerry Depoto, they've been very aggressive. Last year it was Jesse Winker that they got. Maybe that didn't work out exactly how they wanted, but he just keep shooting keeps firing off trades and it's just going to make this team so much better and for the Blue Jays we know they're competing too so they're going to be making moves to win Teoscar Hernandez was a trade candidate because of contractual stuff though but let me know what you guys think from the Mariners side of things they're going to be adding an all-star slugger who can get very hot and has 30 homer potential alongside Julio Rodriguez in that lineup. In return for the Blue Jays, it might not jump off the page as far as name value, but the Mariners are going to be sending reliever Eric Swanson and left-handed pitching prospect Adam Mako in exchange for Teoscar. Now, Eric Swanson, he's the major league name in this. A lot of people might not know him, but the Mariners just have a slew of just ridiculously nasty arms in their bullpen, and Eric Swanson is one of them, though he was expendable because of how many bullpen arms they have, which is just a luxury for the Mariners, and they were able to turn one of them into an all-star outfielder, that being Eric Swanson last year. He pitched 57 games in the regular season. He had three saves, but he had a 1.68 ERA with a .91 whip. So I think if you give him an opportunity in a bullpen like the Blue Jays, where he's more higher up in the ranks, he could definitely become a fan favorite. The Blue Jays fans will definitely learn to like him when he could be a late inning guy for a team like the Blue Jays. For the Mariners, this makes perfect sense too, though, because you're going to get an all-star outfielder where you can upgrade your offense, which is a bigger need and in the bullpen you still have so many guys to go to Penn Murphy Paul Seawald Andres Munoz Matt Brash might be a starter this year but he might be in the bullpen Festa as well they just have so many arms in the bullpen so they will be fine the Blue Jays are going to be picking up Eric Swanson and the left-handed pitching prospect the Mariners are getting Teoscar Hernandez let me know your thoughts on this trade 